Hello everyone, it's me, Jayski Bean, and here it is, BuzzFeed. The thing about these quizzes is there's a lot of, there's a lot of quizzes out there that are, just make, almost make no sense. Like this one, for example, <laughs> this Skittles quiz will tell you which guardian of the galaxy you're most like. And I guess it's pretty relevant because this, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 just actually recently came out and I did go and see it in theaters and it was it's awesome and I'm sure everybody's seen the whole I'm Mary Poppins y'all uh, meme that's been going around so choose your Skittles flavor oh there's so many though but honestly uh, not sweets and sours for sure where's let's see there's wild berry tropical sour bright side see I see bright side but I've never had it and then the America mix I love all of them I do love all of them. I'm gonna get all of them. Wait, what? That's it? That's it? That's the quiz? I I got Groot. Wait. Okay, so what happens if you pick a different one? This I'm gonna pick Wild Berry. Rocket. Uh so sweet and sour, yondu. Mashups. Nebula. Okay. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Why are so many of the thumbnails Chris Pratt? Ah, there we go. Tell us what you ate in the last 24 hours and we'll reveal when you're gonna die. Okay, what did I eat for breakfast? Is there a nothing? There's a nothing. What was your mid-morning snack? Mid-morning snack. Uh, nothing. What did you eat for lunch? I ate a sandwich. It was like a, it was a, a public sub. So I guess sandwich. How about your mid-afternoon snack? Uh, public sub. Uh, nothing, I guess. Supper. Where's the sandwich? There's no sandwich! Uh, okay. Well, since there's no sandwich, something else. Yeah, there we go. Did you have any dessert? No. No dessert. Admit it. You had a snack before bed, didn't you? Well, I'm not in bed yet. But I'll probably eat some kind of chocolate. Like, there's no chocolate. Something else. Okay. You're gonna die at 85. Yeah! That's super. That's super. That's good. I think. 85 is pretty old. What kind of unicorn horn would you have? Pick a rainbow to graze under. Oh, geez. That's a graveyard. Uh, well, mountains or pretty plains or the city. Well, you can't really graze in the city. Those... Those that grass looks pretty tasty. A uh, unicorn snack, not jelly beans or honey, because my girlfriend's allergic to that kind of stuff. A uh, rainbow cake or berries, yay! Sparkles, Denarius, Luna, or Rainbow. It wants me to pick a unicorn name now. Um, a uh, Luna. Pick some magical sparkles to shoot out of your horn. Okay. Uh, gold? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Pick a lake to drink from. <gasps> the one under the moon. Pick a crystal to gain power from. The purple one, because that's my favorite color. I got glittering gold. Your unicorn horn would be made of glittering gold. Bright like sunshine, you would frolic through fields of yellow daisies, shining your light on anyone who passes by. Yay! How popular are your puppy opinions? So, it just wants you to pick... Alright, so, okay, I, I don't know, I don't know, like I said, these quizzes are so random, and the outcome is so, I don't even know, half the time when I'm doing these quizzes, what they're even about? I'm just, I just kinda do them, I guess, so pick a puppy, an old, old English sheepdog, or a Fiberian Husky. whoa, what? Oh, oh, okay, so it's like a would you rather thing, then, of course 79% picked the Siberian Husky. A pug or a French Bulldog, Oh. Um, oh, they're both so cute though. Pug! Oh, A gold retriever or a Labrador retriever? Oh, gold retriever. I'm picking all the popular ones. A German Shepherd or a Great Dane? Great Dane! Yeah, yeah, because nobody picks. Everybody wants a German Shepherd because they're more popular. Pick a puppy. Basset Hound or Beagle? 
Uh, Lily Butt's half beagle. She's half beagle, half miniature Dotson. So I'm gonna go with the beagle. And uh, everybody, but Basset Hound is so cute too. Why does nobody pick that? Yeah, you know, the American Pitbull Terrier or the Boxer. American Pitbull Terrier. Is everybody just picking the first one? Because Boxers are way cuter. Like I'm trying to get the ones that nobody else is picking and apparently it's not working. Pick a puppy, a poodle or a Shih Tzu. Uh, nobody, nobody, what would people not pick? A Shih Tzu? Ah, but they're they're way cuter than poodles. They are, in my opinion, I think a bulldog or a mastiff. Mastiff, because they're all really cute. A Chow Chow or a Saint Bernard. Saint Bernards, when they grow up, they can save you in blizzards and stuff. So that's way super handy. Hey, I guess a Chihuahua or ah oh, that one. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, a Dotson all the way. Dotson is my favorite. Why, screw people who didn't who pick this. Oh, that is a Shiba Inu. That's pretty, that's pretty good too. They're both pretty good, but Dotson, 100%. Because that's Lily Butt. The Greyhound or a Dalmatian? Greyhound. Everybody wants Dalmatians because 101 Dalmatians. And how popular that was. Uh, Australian Shepherd or Border. Australian Shepherd. Uh, Cocker Spaniel or Commander. Commodore. How can I not pronounce these? Uh, a corgi, because that's the meme pupper. That's the meme pupper. Uh, a bull terrier or a Jack Russell terrier? Probably Jack Russell terrier. Yeah, just like everybody else. Okay, time for some more serious quizzes. Like this one is, can you remember which house each Harry Potter character belonged to? Okay, Albus Dumbledore. Uh, yeah, he's... He is a Gryffindor for sure. Newt Scamander is a Hufflepuff. Horace Slughorn is a Slytherin. Oh wow, these are way too easy. Sybil Trill. Oh no! Tr oh no! <laughs> a Ravenclaw? <laughs> Hagrid is, yeah, a Gryffindor. Nymphadora. Oh, what was Tonks? Was what was Tonks? I can't remember. I can't remember what Tonks was. My girlfriend's probably looking at me right now like, Oh, you stupid, you stupid, stupid. But I don't remember. I want to say not Slytherin because all the bad guys are going to be Slytherin. Um, except for, obviously, Slughorn. But, uh, Tonks, I want to say, I want to say, oh, no, what, she was Hufflepuff? Okay, she was Hufflepuff. Oh, so I've gotten them all right so far, except for hers. Hannah Abbott. I don't even... Hufflepuff, okay, whatever. Marcus Flint. Oh, that's definitely Slytherin. I remember. Lockhart is Ravenclaw? Cool, okay. See, some of these I had I didn't really pay much attention to. So, uh, Lee Jordan. See, some of these I don't even know off the top of my head. You know, I'm just kind of, yeah, he's Gryffindor. F Justin Finch Fletchley. Ah, I should know this one too, but I don't. <laughs> Pansy Parkinson, that one was Slytherin. Michael Corner. Oh, uh, Ravenclaw! Yeah! Okay, Katie Bell. I can't remember Katie Bell. It was Katie Bell, the Gryffindor. Yeah! Vincent Crabbe. Oh, that's, that's definitely Slytherin. Lavender Brown, that's... Oh, what? Lavender Brown? Lavender Brown? She she was Gryffindor? She wasn't No. No, hey. Lavender Brown. What house? Gryffindor. Really? Yeah, she's the one you did not. With the curly curly brown hair and her got really upset. I thought she was Hufflepuff. This whole time I thought she was okay. Umbridge is a Slytherin? Umbridge is a Slytherin too? I thought she was a Hufflepuff. Okay. Albus Potter? He was a Slytherin. I remember that one. Chill was a Ravenclaw. Molly Weasley was a Gryffindor. Yeah, they're all they're all the Weasleys are Gryffindors. We, I knew that one. You got 14 out of 20 right. If this were the owls, you would get an acceptable. Okay, whatever. Close enough, I guess. I'm not 100%, but I wasn't like... <sighs> I feel like a failure either way. 
design your dream wedding and we will tell you your biggest flaw. The only reason I clicked this one is because Chris Pratt is on the thumbnail, just like most of them. Choose something to wear. The blue suit or the black suit or the dress. I want to wear this one. Except <laughs> of the cape. I want to wear the cape. Choose a hairstyle. Uh, his. I want to be bald for my wedding. Choose a bouquet. The one with the orange is in it. So I can eat it. Pick a place to get married. The beach, Vegas, a church, a garden, a home, or a barn. A barn. <laughs> I would pick a barn. Pick a honeymoon destination. Paris, Hawaii, Italy, London, Bali, or Greece. London, because I've never been there and I really want to go. Pick someone to marry. Zac Efron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too nice. <laughs> okay, I don't feel like I took this one seriously, but whatever. Oh man. Now this is the last one I'm gonna do because I don't I don't I have no idea how much time I have because it's been super awkward and there's gonna be lots of cuts in this video and I I can't decide on a quiz to do there's so many of them and I don't feel satisfied clicking on any of them because they're all super clickbait titles so choose some foods and we'll accurately guess your haircut we've tested this method out and we're feeling very confident about this choose a food brownies cheeseburger avocados or a nasty poop of <laughs> cheeseburger choose a food ramen grilled cheese peanut butter cup or bloody steak okay uh, really, it depends what mood, I guess. A grilled cheese? Choose a food. Mozzarella sticks, barbecue ribs, chocolate ice cream, or hummus and pita chips. Ah, uh, mozzarella sticks or ribs. Ribs, probably. Choose a food. French fries, mac and cheese, chocolate cake, or falafels. Uh, mac and cheese. Tacos, bagel, donuts, or sushi. Tacos. Cheesecake, fried chicken, pizza, uh, fried chicken, green curry, nachos, chocolate cookie, or spaghetti bologna. Blog, bologna, uh, chocolate cookies. Choose a food, Philly cheese steak, pancakes, pancakes. When is it gonna be over? I'm just picking random tater tots. Shoulder length. <laughs> it's so accurate it's so accurate but i gotta finish this off so i hope you guys enjoyed this random like cringe fest super awkward me going through these clickbait quizzes and anyway if you guys did enjoy this random super awkward me clickbait quizzes uh make sure you slap that like button underneath the video <laughs> and until next time i'll see you guys later